so guys welcome back to the channel it's your girl walking purpose monica miles and i am i want to share with you a very interesting topic this morning but first if you are new to my channel you can like any of the videos share like comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell that if and when i upload another video you would be the first one to know so without no further ado, let's get into this video. Let me introduce the topic to you. So there are 12 no's that you need to say in your marriage. 12 no, N-O. So let's begin. Say no to going to bed with unresolved issues. The longer issue pile up, the messy things become. And the climate in your home worsens. That's number one. Say no to involving parents or family in solving marital matters. If your parents don't like your spouse, parents who like choosing spouses for their children, instead, see a counselor, a pastor, or a neutral person of authority who believes in marriage. If you can't manage a breakthrough as a couple, parents and family are biased and after you two have solved issues. They will remember the wrongs done to their son and daughter. And it will affect family relations. Minimize the amount of people involved in your domestic affair. That was number two. Say no to coming to big decisions without giving the other an opportunity to be heard and considered. This is how you build unity in your family. So that was number three. Say no in using words, my marriage, or in my marriage, my car, my child, my spouse, my money. Instead, say our car, our child, our house, our money. Regardless of who contributes the most financially, you are now a team. Good. Number four. Say no to arguing in front of the children. Don't expose them to tension that will emotionally stretch them. Don't do that. Say no to ending a sexual moment with only one of your sexually satisfied. Both of you ought to enjoy love making. Number six. Say no to using insults no matter how hungry you get. Your spouse will easily remember the insults spoken in moments of anger than the loving words spoken in times of peace. 7. Say no to eating outside, yet your spouse has taken the time to prepare a family meal for you. Make it a habit to eat together. Number 8. Say no to visit by your relatives without informing your spouse. That means you should never go visit relatives and leaving your wife behind. It's so wrong. It is not your home alone. If you want your spouse to be a good host to your relatives, consult with him or her when the visit will happen and for how long. Right? Number nine. Say no to entertaining another or flirting with others. You are, you two are allowed to have a healthy and a social life and friends even of the opposite gender but with boundaries and transparency number 10 say no to sleeping in different beds or bedrooms yet you are in the same house it sets a bad precedence and escalates the situation be like honey we didn't have the best of days today but i still love you you're walking out to sleep somewhere else or kicking your spouse out of the room communicates rejection and disgust. Number 11. Say no to letting a relative come stay in your house who disrespect your spouse. Don't let your spouse be attacked at home. Never, never you entertain such relative or friends in your house. And... Lastly, number 12, say no to suggesting divorce when things get difficult. You don't solve problems by threatening to walk out. 
when you tell your spouse divorce is an option, it can easily discourage your spouse or make your spouse defensive. Unfortunately, some ask for divorce not because they are serious, but to scare and to manipulate and in doing planting seed of doubt in their marriage. I want to say to you today that who oh, the Lord has joined together, let no man pull asunder. So protect your marriage. Marriage is of God. And I want you to protect your marriage. Guard your marriage with all your heart. There will come a time when friends will tell you to leave your spouse. And that can never be right. It doesn't matter what the situation, like I said before, work things out. If you are in an abusive relationship, I am not going to tell you to stay in it. But I'm going to tell you, if you can work it out, work it out. And if it is not working, then... You know best what to do. But I want to leave with you. And I want to encourage you. That if God has joined you together. No man will be able to pull you asunder. I have come to the end of this video. And. I am grateful that you will come to listen it. Or those who will come to listen the rebroadcast. And I am thanking you very much. And I'll see you in more videos like this as I encourage you to love your husband, love your wives, treat both well. Yes, love your husband. The Bible speaks about wives and it speaks about your husband. So show that love, that godly love, and let God bless you in your marriage. For those of you who are not married, I pray thee God that your time will come when you will find your right partner and are your right bowers i should have said and you know you will come to live this respectable dedicated and clean life that god has ordained god bless you and bye-bye